In today's episode, we're going to play Sarajevo in the second qualifying round of the Champions League away. We've beaten them already, home 3 0. And then, Nove Pazar in the league. See you on the pitch. Hey guys, it's Jerry D and welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory here on Football Manager 20. We are in Belgrade, Serbia with our mighty Restal Belgrade. And since the last time you and I were together, I haven't played any matches off camera. In the last episode, we've played Sarajevo and then we, we've beaten them 3-0 and then we've beaten Proletar in the league 4-0. And today is the second leg of the second qualifying round of the Champions League. After we play Sarajevo away, then we will receive Novi Pazar home in the league. Novi Pazar, who just been like last year, they were in the first division and now they've been promoted into the Serbian Super League. And at the moment, Novi Pazar are what? Third. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I just wanted to show you there has been a transfer and what a transfer it has been. Now, we got Giuliano Simeone from Atletico Madrid for 215k. Okay, now, you, I, probably you will recognize the surname Simeone and you recognize Atletico Madrid. Now, everyone knows that Simeone is the manager of Atletico Madrid and we got his son from Atletico Madrid, his um, youngest son uh, from Atletico Madrid on a definite, I mean, we bought him, we didn't loan him or anything, we bought him and uh, yeah, he signed for us for 215k, Giuliano Simone, let's have a look at him, he plays as an AMC, like behind the, behind the strikers, I told you I needed someone behind the strikers, he's 18 years old, Argentinian, he's not wow, he's not wow, but Considering that he has 15 in determination and 12 in work rate, I think the three star potential ability could move on into like four, even five, if we work on him. I already gave him um, individual instructions as on training and stuff. Um, he will not be a starter for now, but uh, obviously Ivanic will be the starter. But I think that we've made for 215k, I think we've made a good signing. Um, obviously, he cannot play today in the, in the Champions League, but he will play in the second game in the league. So, yeah, this is the only transfer in. I, I can't remember if we did any transfers out, to be honest. Let's have a look. I can't remember. I think we did, to be honest. Transfers out. Um... <coughs> Uh, I think Jirka, we've covered Jirk, the transfer of Jirka um, in the last episode. If we, I can't remember, to be honest, but if we didn't, Eric Jirka, who was last year in the first season, was on loan. Um, we've moved him out to Tranva, Tranava for 500k. So now we have sold a total of 2.3 million and we have bought in a total of 1.7 million. So we made a decent profit there like 500k in profit in transfers and it's not over transfers out are not over transfers in yes but uh, there's still some players who are like on the way out um so yeah as in finances if we have a look at finances it's still the same 17 70 million in the bank the 3 million uh, as in as in transfer budget 3 million something um we're doing quite well we're doing quite well the club is on course to pass european champions cup obviously the aim in the season the goal for me in the season is to at least achieve the group stage in the champions league so we can get like shit loads of money from the champions league revenue and uh, th that money we can we can use it in building a good squad for the next season um but for the rest nothing changed so Without further ado, let's go to the tactic screen. This is the this is the formation we're going with against Sarajevo. Obviously, we won 3-0 in the first leg and we smashed them. So Borgin in goal, Babic, Pavlovic and Pankov, Vukanovic, Petrovic, Sanogo, Garcia, Ivanic, Kristovic and Tedic up front. So off we go. Without further ado, let's go. Let's get this uh, second qualifying round out of the way. And in the next step, in the next round, if we qualify... 
the odds are that we will meet Karabag. Karabag are a team from Azerbaijan who are filth rich. <laughs> uh, we had a look at them in the last episode, yesterday's episode. Um, I don't know. Probably we would. We are a better team. Probably we're a better team. But anyway, you never know, right? So off we go. Now we are at the Blues, and the first highlight of the match: the ball goes over the bar. Now Sanogo. Almetovic fouled Sanogo there and we will have a free kick but nothing happened so no highlights I'm gonna keep a close eye on the result of Karabakh to be honest I would like to avoid them <laughs> honestly because um, I don't know I'm not sure about them Garcia Kristovic the shot get blocked. They have a decent keeper. Sarajevo, they have a decent keeper. And the last episode, yesterday's episode, he played very well against us. Like, or, okay, we, we won 3 0, but if it wasn't for him, um, we would have won like 4, well, not 4, maybe 5, 6, even 7 0. But anyway, Petrovic crosses the ball, and Kristovic with his fifth goal of the season. Lovely header there. And anticipates his def the his markers anticipates all the defenders in the box look at this Kristovic practically he's the only player we have in the in the box at the moment anticipates he comes from behind anticipates four defenders and with a lovely header beats the keeper and puts us in front now we have even although we have a 3 nil um win at at home we also have the away goal factor now which is golden oh Sanogo with a shot there over the bar good try though let's praise the lads I mean sorry I mean it was an easy draw I have to admit it was an easy draw but you know last last season we had Ajax in the third count in the third round so a draw is a draw you know it's either you're lucky or not in a draw Vukanovic to Petrovic in the box crosses it into Garcia Garcia gives it to Kristovic Kristovic turns he shoots the keeper gets it from the rebound Garcia scores it won't count he was offside <laughs> he was and actually he was offside look at that yeah he was offside anyway it's a it's a it's a one-way match to be honest against Sarajevo let me have some coffee Garcia to Kristovic. What pen? No. Kristovic back to Vukanovic. He op Vukanovic opens up on the right. There. The highlight isn't over though. Babic to Sanogo. Ivanic again. Ivanic advances, gives it back to Sanogo. Shoots and this time around he finds the net. Sanogo. A lovely shot from outside the box. Makes them 2 0. Look at that, Sanogo gives it to Ivanic, Ivanic, back to Sanogo, and boom, beats the keeper on the far post, 2-0, aggregate of 5-0, guys, so yeah, qualification is, is, is secure, basically, they need to win now 6-0, well, 6-2, it's not gonna happen. Kristovic, he went for a brace there. Very close, very close. Vukanovic again. We're all over them. Like <laughs> they didn't even have a highlight. Petrovic to Ivanic. Back to Kristovic and the keeper again saves it into a corner. It's now a direct battle between Kristovic and the keeper. Petrovic with the corner, they head it out and clear it. Now Zlatkovic can counter, they have a chance to counter here. Zlatkovic gets tackled by Sanogo momentarily, the highlight is ended. Okay, so we're nearing half time now. Petrovic with the corner, crosses it in, the header from Tedic goes over the bar. Didn't really trouble the keeper there. Karabakh, what are they doing? The, we don't have 
Pankov pro most probably is the last highlight before halftime. Sanogo will give it to Garcia, definitely. He does. Garcia shoots and he finds the net. Garcia finds the net, makes them 3-0, 6 0 on aggregate. Mateo Garcia with his second goal of the season. I think the keeper should have done much better there. Look at this. Sanogo gives it to Garcia. Garcia stops the ball, shoots. Yeah, the keeper should have done much better there. Well, I'm not going to complain. 3 0, 6 0 on aggregate, 21 shots, 11 of which on target, 72% ball possession. Yeah. Um, yeah, your efforts were excellent and stuff. I want to do some um, changes, some substitutions. So I'm going to put Rodriguez in for Kristovic. I'm going to keep um, Tedicin. Uh, Chast will uh, take Babic place, who is complacent. And Milunovic will take Pankov place, who is complacent. And off we go. I'm going to praise the leads. Petrovic with a corner. Ooh, Tedic with the header there. The keeper gets to it and they clear it out. Karabakh, hang on. Let, let me have a look at Karabakh. Because there are so many highlights that I couldn't... I, like. Karabakh are losing at the moment they're out. At the moment they're out. I want I want to avoid Karabakh if, if possible. I don't know because I have a bad feeling about them. And they're losing home. So even if they score a 1-1 one draw it would not save them. They would need to go to extra time then. 71 minutes on the clock. Vukanovic. To Rodriguez. To Tadic and Tadic shoots, but it goes out. Just the Spanish, the Spaniard, not Spanish. Garcia, the Argentinian, passes opponent, gives it to Sanogo, back to Garcia, back to Sanogo, to Ivanic. Ivanic, oh my god, what a goal from Ivanic! <laughs> what a goal from Ivanic! Look, let's have a look at it again. Garcia gives it to Sanogo. Sanogo gives it back to Garcia, who gives it back to Sanogo. Ivanic turns, shoots. That's a, um, a Del Piero goal in the early 2000s. If you were around, if you were around in 2000s, that's what that that kind of goal was Del Piero's trademark. Anyway, Ivanic again. To Vukanovic. Vukanovic passed two opponents, enters the box, shoots, and Jesus Christ, he hit the post there. Karabakar drew now, so they're 2 2. Rodriguez, Garcia, back to Rodriguez, back to Garcia. Garcia crosses it in, they clear it out. Not for long because Betrovic gets first on the loose ball, gives it to Sanogo. Now Ivanic, back to Sanogo, to Garcia. It's a long maneuver. We're short passing the ball here. Garcia again, who gives it to Sanogo, leaves it to Ivanic. Ivanic advances, he shoots and goes over the bar. I'm going to praise the boys, just because we can. Um, and that's it. Restar win for nil with an aggregate of 7 nil. Look at this. 37 shots against their one shot. 14 of which on target. They had, didn't have any shots on target. Obviously, they shot once. And 70% ball possession. So we smashed them. Literally, we smashed them. Um, we let them know that their efforts were excellent. Everyone is happy. Bush, bash, bush. Karabakh. Ooh, we avoided Karabag. Where Miss Milsami or Hey from Moldova? No, we 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 have to win this match. 
Although, actually, they're beating Karabakh. So, Resterberger will play Mizlami or Hay in the European Champions Cup third qualifying round. Restar have been drawn as home team in the tie, so the first leg will be played at Raiko Mitic. Okay, so we're gonna play the first. I like their opponents, Restar have the strong competition. Okay, so yeah, the Moldovan team is our next opponent in the Champions League, but um, let's skip and go to the league match. See you on the pitch, see you soon. Okay, guys, so here we are, seconds away from the second game of this uh, episode against Novi Pazar in the Serbian first Super League. And, and we're, we're playing them home. Basically, this is the formation we're going with Borjin, Pavlovic, Justin, Babic, Garcia, Racic, Petrovic, and Ivanic. Uh, Simeone, the, <laughs> the newcomer, behind Kristovic and Tedic. So this should be on paper an easy game but um, I want to talk to you about a few problems that we have so Chinese teams especially HB China are lurking around Kristovic now so up till now they offered 1.9 million for Kristovic and they obviously refused Kristovic didn't complain so that's fine the bigger problem is Garcia I Milan AC Milan from Italy AC Milan, in Italy's giants, AC Milan, they offered 8.75 million for Garcia. I asked for 20 million. They went up to 8.75. I refused. Garcia didn't complain up till now. Um, but yeah, 8.75 from AC Milan. That could be easily 15 million from a team like, I don't know, Juventus or someone in, 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 in the UK and a team in the UK and stuff. So let's it's gonna be hard keeping Garcia. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Eight point seven million. I mean, the problem is, I, I I I don't care. Even if they give me 10, 15 million, I will refuse because I don't have a decent substitute apart from Radokai, who is still a youngster. Meantime, obviously we scored, um, Rachis there with the goal. But the problem is that how how far would the board go until they like say okay. This is it. We're going to sell him for like 10, 12, 15 million. And if we sell Garcia, it's going to be a big blow because he's one of our best, if he's not the best. So, yeah. In the meantime, we are winning against Novi Pazar. We're 42 minutes into the match. Like, we're nearing the end of the half. We're winning 1-0. Goal from Racic. Now, Ivanic gives it to Tedic with the header, the keeper puts it into a corner lovely save from the keeper there Petrovic with a corner he crosses it in and Kristovic with his sixth goal of the season makes them 2-0 43 minutes into the first half and we now lead 2-0 against Novi Pazar who before this game were third in the league so <laughs> we weren't playing like you know any other team they were third now they are what 15 probably <laughs> um let's um take hold of the team talk let's say that we're very happy everyone looked delighted off we go let's play i'm gonna praise the lads so that they're fired up yeah it worked i'm gonna change garcia very soon to with radokai because he's on 70%. Simeone is not 6.5, but it's his debut. So let's keep him there. Radokai, where are Radokai now? Uh, not Radokai, Novi Pazar. Ninth. With this loss, they, they will fall to ninth place. They will slip to ninth place. Pejakovic for Novi Pazar with the cross. Good save from Borgen, easy save from Borgen. Highlight obviously isn't over, so let's see what we can do here. Borgen to Pavlovic. We lost possession here, and Pejakovic now gives it to Zvonja. Pejakovic again on the right, calibrating the cross, but instead he chose to play 
Perkovic. A nice cross and they score. Kekap. Adimir Kekap with his first goal of the season puts Novi Pazar back into the match. 70 minutes on the clock. There's like 30 minutes to play. 20 minutes to play. And they score. Against the loss because like you can see 69% ball possession. 12 shots on target out of 18. And they only had one shot on target and they scored. <laughs> now Petkovic, Petrovic with the... Ooh, just there. Just over the bar with the header. Let's demand more for the last few minutes. Just to be on the safe side. And there it is. We won. 2-1. I thought it would have been like with a bigger margin. The score. But we'll take it. At the end of the day, it's three points. So, yeah, why not? So now, let's have a look. We are first in the league. I think we're all league. We all played three games. Let's have a look. No, not everyone played three games. But have, let's have a look at Partizan, for example, who are on two games. If they win the game in hand, they will go on seven. So we can't be reached, guys. We, we, we're already leading and we can't be reached for the moment. So that's good. The closest they can be is Partizan. If they win, they will go up to seven points. We're still two points in front of them so that's that's good that's good that's a good start now as for in the next episode let's have a look at the schedule obviously we're gonna do Mlasami or hey in in Deja our second so we'll do Mzami or hey in Deja and then in the next in the episode after tomorrow's we'll do the second leg of Mizlami and Spartak who are currently seven but that's in the next coming episodes until then thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did so don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new my name is Jerry D and until next time bye bye